used to not even know the difference between teaspoon and tablespoon. Hi everyone, 안녕하세요. This is Ava from Glow with Ava and welcome to my channel today. So in this channel, if you are new, I cover everything you have to know about skincare, beauty, lifestyle, and today we're going to be talking about some kitchen essentials. If you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you guys know I post about stuff I cook every single day. And not saying that I'm a great cook by any means, but I do love being in the kitchen. Um, so I used to be in a job where I literally ordered breakfast, lunch, and dinner all in the office. So I never ever cooked. I like didn't even own good or any kind of like hands really because there was zero chance that I would be cooking. So naturally I was not in the kitchen. I hated cooking. I just felt like everything that I did in the kitchen was a burden. So even in the weekends, I would go out to eat. And naturally, that led to a lot of money being spent outdoors. And beyond the money issue, it was just not really healthy for me. Um, so especially with quarantine and me moving on to a different role uh, with my job, just being able to work from home i've been spending a lot more time in the kitchen and i've been wanting to make it more enjoyable so over the last year i have been accumulating and replacing little things here and there in the kitchen for it to be more pleasurable and now at this point i love spending time in the kitchen i love cooking up my own concoctions using different tools and yeah this is my road to being a housewife a little bit more so that is why um, i always get questions on instagram and tiktok on what's that pan what is that tool that you're using to use this so i'm just going to gather some of like my top top essentials that you guys will probably need in the kitchen and also become a housewife if you want to first off is my frother so I drink a matcha latte every single day. If not a matcha latte, I drink my um, own coffee. But regardless, this is the one tool that I literally use maybe once, twice, three times a day, and it is a frother. I got this about like two years ago and it has completely changed my life. So as you can see, this is my matcha that I drink every single day. And with this frother, it's a game changer. It looks and tastes as if you just bought a $6 matcha here in New York City, but instead you're only spending like 50 cents on a matcha every single day. So this is the one that I bought for my family as well. It's so, so good. The battery life goes on forever. And honestly, don't really have that much to say because I'm sure a lot of you guys already own this. If you don't, you really, really need to invest in this. It's very affordable under $20. So it might be a good Christmas gift as well. The next set are the caraway pan set. So I just have one of them right here with me. This is the saucepan. They also have a fry pan and they also have a Dutch oven. Um, so it comes in a set that you can get all together. They have it in various colors and it is just so pretty. When I first saw the whole set, I was like, I definitely need that. And it, be, it just goes beyond the whole aesthetics. I think it really has to do with your overall health um, especially so I think I remember when I first got my own like non-stick pan I was so happy with how my pancakes were flipping how my eggs were being made because it was just like gliding on and on so I immediately just felt so such like a chef you know but then over the years I heard that a lot of non-stick pans can actually cause cancer run there may not be a direct link to it. However, 99% of nonstick pans are made with chemicals such as PTFE, which is AKA Teflon, as well as PFOAs, which are toxic chemicals that can actually leak into your food while cooking it. Especially with Teflon, if it is overheated, it releases toxic fumes at a molecular level. So you may not actually be able to see it with your eyes, but it is going to seep into your food and cause um, harmful effects gradually on your body. So once I heard that, I was like, mm -mm, this isn't going to be, I'm not going to risk my health just for some kind of convenience. Um, so I decided to throw away all of my nonstick pans that I own and replaced it all with these caraway um, sets. So with these, you ditch all the chemicals and replace it with non-toxic ceramic coated cookware. So what's the point of cooking healthy food if there's going to be harmful chemicals that are going to be leaking into the healthy food you are cooking? Makes zero sense. So these cookware from um, caraway is free 
free of Teflon, obviously, lead, and also other toxic materials as well. Because it's coated with ceramic, it's just naturally so slick. It requires less oil and butter to cook up, and it also um, helps to heat up the entire pan on a very even level. So overall, I am just so, so, so obsessed with these. Um, the only downside about these pans are the fact that it can't be used in a dishwasher because they are ceramic and it will break. Um, and it is a little um, heavy as well. However, even if you can't use a dishwasher, because it's so slick, the cleaning process is like so easy. You just have to like kind of wipe it with something and everything will just glide off. Even when you're cooking like an omelet or any kind of dish, it will just slide off your pan like even better than a nonstick pan. That's how impressed I am. And the biggest difference I saw was when I was cooking oatmeal and with my previous pots, the oatmeal would get like kind of get stuck all over the edges. It was like cleaning it was such a pain in the butt. However, with this one, my oatmeal just slides off. The cleaning is so, so, so easy. And when you buy it, it also has like this organizing rack and um, another cloth that you can kind of display. And it just helps to reduce any kind of clutter. With these three, you can kind of solve all the cooking that you can have. It's pretty, and it's just kind of like a piece of work that you want to display and show off to your guests in your countertops. If you do want a set for yourself or as a gift, they are on a discount right now. And you can use my code link below here to get another $25 off of this whole set. Next one is my air fryer. Before quarantine this year and even last year when the whole air fryer craze was going on, I told myself I don't need an air fryer. I'm barely going to use it. I just have an oven and a frying pan. Why would I need an air fryer? That was my thought until quarantine hit and we got a new air fryer. And that was one of the most life-changing moments for me. You know, I'm being dramatic, but seriously it has changed my life forever and it's the point where i can cook meals that i've seen on pinterest and online that just seemed like something i couldn't even like fathom to do but then once you put in an air fryer it's magic it's just magic happens and you get the same exact dish same exact taste that you wanted you were craving even with like bacon chicken wings salmon miso salmon all of that stuff you can easily do in an air fryer it literally changes everything get the crispiness i can only get at restaurants um so yeah it's kind of really saved me a lot of money because i don't really crave the french fries the crispy onion rings the crispy chicken wings that i want at restaurants i mean you can take my phone away but you can't take my air fryer from me it's honestly so good and before getting this one i've done a ton of research and talk to a lot of people out there as well and the consensus was that you don't really need those expensive $300 plus air fryers it's not that much more special at all but also if you're gonna get one don't get like the cheaper $50 ones get something that is worth it that will last you a long time and this is the one that we settled for and honestly I could not be happier it was the best 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 investment and if you don't have an air fryer, then make sure to get this one because I'm I'm telling you, it's a game changer. Because of this, we got rid of our toaster, toaster oven, and we like basically never use our oven as well. So we don't really have to clean our oven. The cleaning process for this air fryer is so easy, so simple. Best thing that has happened to me this year. And speaking of air fryers, so I used to make a lot of muffins. I like to bake healthy muffins at home. So using an oven was like a daily thing for me but like just cleaning the oven and everything just like was not really my thing so that was the one burden that i had but now as i said i don't really use my oven because i solve everything with my air fryer once again and with these muffins these are little things i have to show you guys i got these on amazon and they're like these silicone muffin cups that i just like throw my muffin mix in here put them in the air fryer and they just become like this cute muffins with even like the crispy muffin top that you usually get at bakeries i can achieve that with these and because they're silicone after you finish them you just kind of pop them out and easy to wash it off it's you don't have to like kind of scrape off the things that you get from your oven so these are once again some of the best things i got and i probably order like similar silicone ones in different sizes so i can make a bigger um sized ones in my air fryer as well next a must in my asian household is this rice cooker so this one is actually a recent one for me that my friend got for us um as a wedding gift and look at how pretty it is it's got this like gold rose gold cover that looks so great next to my air fryer 
dryer and my caraway set so my kitchen is looking pretty these days but yeah it was a long needed upgrade because the last rice cooker that i had was from like over seven years ago from a brand that i don't even know i just got for free um but you guys know on instagram and tiktok i talk about rice all the time <laughs> I just love, love, love rice. I can survive off white rice for the rest of my life. And once again, this is another really nice upgrade that I got and I'm so happy with this. Cuckoo is one of the best rice cooker brands in Korea um, and they sell a ton in the US as well. And I feel like a lot of my friends around me, they're just like daunted by the thought of cooking rice. They don't really know how to measure, how to make rice properly. Um, so that's why they kind of rely on a lot of instant rices that honestly doesn't taste great as great. It's not probably not as healthy for you either. So if you have the right rice cooker, it's going to change your life. And that's why this one is especially I've been eyeing for a long time because it is smart cooking like Cuckoo always comes out with these new innovative rice cookers and this is one of them because it uses a smart cooking algorithm where it is able to kind of measure out how much rice is in the rice cooker, measure out the um, overall temperature that it has to cook in, high pressure, no pressure. So it really comes to like the highest technology level where you can kind of cook like a chef. So even chefs love using this because they're able to kind of um, cook with different kinds of rices, different temperatures, and this is all able to figure all of that out. Um, so whether you're using purple rice, white rice, different kinds of grains, or instead of just rice, if you want to make soup in it, you can do that as well. So it's kind of like a really, really good multi-purpose pressure cooker slash rice cooker. And the biggest problem I had with my old rice cooker was that it was so hard to reheat or even leave it in the rice cooker for over, you know, two hours after I cooked it, I would always have to like scrape it out or else it would get really, really sticky, crunchy and all all of that but with this one once again with the algorithm it has really good reheating options it keeps your rice um warm without it getting sticky or anything at all so i think that is the biggest 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 game changer for me because if i leave the rice for like up to five hours or even overnight it is able to maintain at the same state as when i first opened it as well if you're looking for a new rice cooker upgrade or if you're new to you know rice cookers in general then i highly recommend you investing in this little one and next one is this rice cooker it's another big upgrade in our household so we used to have like the electric um water kettle for years to the point where like the inside was kind of getting a little gross it's hard to clean those kinds of things so that's why we kind of wanted to simplify and have like a more of a minimalistic approach with this little kettle it's so so chic look at how pretty this is so obviously it comes without the core you just have to kind of heat up on your stovetop the only downside is that it does take a little longer than your typical electric cords to heat up and you have to stand by it so that it doesn't like overheat while as with the electric one you can just like heat it up and then forget about it you can't really forget about it with this one however that's a little sacrifice that i want to make because of how cute it is um and it also like i like the fact that it has different temperatures so if you see right here it's got like your green yellow and a lacks so um did, according to different kinds of teas or things that you want to make you just have to wait until it hits the, um, the arrow hits that certain temperature so usually when i make my teas or matcha lattes i like to keep it right um, at the point before it hits the yellow mark that's when i can comfortably drink it afterwards so this is another like kind of smart technology in a way that um, has improved our home and has made our kitchen look so much adulty i don't know really really loving it and then this little baby is the newest addition to our kitchen i mean look at how pretty this is i feel like every influencer has to own this just for like pictures itself so this is the always pan because it's supposed to be a pan that you always need and replaces almost everything this is like apparently the one pan that you'll need for everything so that's why it can replace your fry pan saute pan skillet steamer, your saucepan, nonstick pan, spatula, as well as spoon rest. And how? That's because when you open it like this, there's like this little thing that fits right in when you want to steam things. I think this would be especially great for when you want to steam um, vegetables or even fish. And then this is like your um, nonstick pan right here. And then it also has a cute 
you know, wooden pan that you can just like kind of rest it while you cook because you don't want to get like get dirty and stuff. So I think this is such a nice little finishing touch that you have to your pan. And honestly, this is once again, just like the Caraway ones. It is non-toxic, so free of the Teflons. It's not going to leak any kind of harmful toxic materials into the food that you cook. And one of the reasons I love this is the fact that it is so lightweight. It's only like three pounds. So it's really easy to like kind of cook around with this. Um, unlike the other Caraway one, which it's a little bit heavier for me to kind of like move around and like, you know, shake things up and move pancakes in. When you're cooking something that you kind of want to like shake around in, then I think I would um, absolutely resort to this pan actually. And overall it heats really evenly. You don't have to use that much oil or butter to cook things in as well. And I like to cook it at low to medium heat because the aluminum that is coated with um, actually holds heat very well compared to your traditional stainless cookware. All right, guys, last one. The last one I'm gonna be talking about today is is this pressure cooker it's a little heavy this is a pressure cooker and an air fryer in one it's so special so um, we got this actually after we have our air fryer so I don't really use the air fryer function as much but you can use it that way because of the two different lids that it comes with so this is the lid that comes with the pressure cooker and there's, there's another bigger lid that comes separately if you want to use it as an air fryer so for those of you who are looking to kind of save countertop space don't have room to get both an air fryer pressure cooker and all of that then you can easily just get one of these and use it for both functionalities um this is the first like true pressure cooker of our own so it took a little bit of learning for me to kind of get how to use it but after that it was just so easy and it was like magical the fact that i can cook like my mom's seaweed soup in it some other kinds of porridges and it just like saves like all the work for me it's incredible Incredible. This is the one that I'm really excited to kind of cook bigger meals in and cook more traditional Korean soups that my mom recommends me and kind of in bigger portions. And now that we're heading into winter, I'm really, really excited to start making more hearty, warm soups in here. And the portion size is like pretty, pretty big. And the thing with pressure cookers is that you have to cook a lot for it to actually taste good as well. So I'm probably going to be making big portions and you know, storing it in my little containers throughout the winter. So it saves me time as well. But overall, there's so many, so many different functionalities here. So for example, if you want to saute your meat before cooking it or making it into a soup, then you can easily saute it in here without having to put it in a fry pan and transfer it over here and then make it into a soup. So I thought that was like a really cool thing for um, them to have. And they have different functionalities where if you want to just cook super broth um, or porridges, pressure cook it, slow cook it, saute eggs, cake, you can even make cake in this little boy. Um, I've tried cooking rice in this actually because I knew you were going to ask. The rice cooks a little bit more on the crispy side, so it's not the kind of like fluffy white rice that you like. So I don't recommend you put, um, cooking rice in this one, but this is more for like the traditional like pressure cookers that you want to do. So if I'm going to be cooking my special white rice, I'm definitely going to be resorting to uh, this little cuckoo. Okay, I just introduced you guys to all the big guns in my kitchen. I sound like such a housewife. Imagine me talking about this just even like a year or two or years ago. Never. I literally didn't even know the difference between a tablespoon or a teaspoon. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I cannot wait to share more recipes, cooking essentials, kitchen essentials with you guys as I further upgrade. But I don't think I'm going to be, you know, replacing any of these anytime soon because these are the staples that I absolutely need on an everyday basis. And I know they're going to last me for a very, very long time. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for more cooking recipes and healthy recipes, then make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Glowadeva. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys next.